Hello, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome to your English class. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Very good. Okay, excellent. I are am you... fine. Excellent. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, I would like for us to get started. I would like for you to tell me what information do you remember from yesterday's class? What information do you remember from yesterday's class? Wow. Holidays in the USA. Very good. Special holidays in the USA. Can you give me an example of a special holiday in the USA? What is one special holiday in the USA? New Year's and Christmas. That's right. New Year's, Christmas. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Halloween. Halloween. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Very good. That's a lot. So I would like for us to look at the video and refresh. And going to. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn vocabulary related to holidays in the US. Let's get started by learning the following. Holidays in the U.S. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. So, After in esta actividad, class, iban a escribir cinco oraciones acá. ¿Todos la hicieron ya? Yes. Yes? yes okay. Teacher. Okay, yes. excellent, excellent. Let's move forward. Section 1.9. Yes. Thank you. By the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer WH questions. We looked at this yesterday. We saw this yesterday. Aquí iban a escribir cinco preguntas. ¿Se acuerda? ¿Todos lo terminaron? Ok, si, no lo... No. Okay, si no lo ha hecho, le queda de tarea. Bien, muchas gracias. Thanks. Son cinco preguntas con WH questions. Aquí están varios ejemplos. Right. Okay, we're gonna look at knowledge check. Let's look at knowledge check. 1.11, knowledge check. Instructions, complete the conversations with the correct form of be going to. Follow the example. Instrucciones, complete las conversaciones con la forma correcta de be going to. Siga el ejemplo. Ejemplo. How are you going to spend your summer vacation? How are you going to spend your summer vacation? My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. Conversation number one. Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? 
So for this activity, you are going to complete the sentences in pairs. Any questions? No, teacher. Ready, let's go. What's going on, Christian? What's going on, Diego? Van llegando? Okay, that's okay. Ya los vamos a incorporar. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, welcome back. Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Yes, teacher. All right. Jeremiah, let me have the first one. Go ahead, Jeremiah. Let me have the first Go one. Who are going to invite to Thanksgiving diner? Thanksgiving. 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 Very Thanksgiving. Good. Yes. Awesome. The next one, Manuel de Jesus. I am going to ask my family and some good friends. Perfect. The next one, please. Teacher, Noemi. teacher, I have a question. Yes. And ahí ayer estamos platicando que era going, se pronunciaba gonna. Entonces acá Correct. se pronuncia. Correct. Por ejemplo, la primera, who are going, who are you gonna to invite? Sí. Uh, pero eh, gonna es como informal y going to es como más formal. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> That's the difference. Okay, Noemi, number, the next one, number two. Noemi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, Noemi. Uh, la que sigue. Um, number two. Uh, es la respuesta de who are you going to invite? To Thanksgiving dinner, la que sigue. Uh, uh, I'm going to ask my family and some good friends. <laughs> Very good. Uh, continue, Christian Lisandro. Oh, 
Ok, Cristian Lisandro tiene problemas con el audio. Diego, continue. ¿Cuál sería, teacher? La tres. That is correct. Sí. This one right here. What are you? What are you going to do for Halloween? Perfect. Glenda Maribel, continue. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to do anything special. Perfect. Continue, Claudia. The next one, conversation three. How are you parents going to celebrate New Year Eve? Perfect. Claudia Beatriz, the next one. All right, Claudia, no tiene problemas con el audio. Erasmo. They are going to go to their neighbor's party. Very good, correct. Thank yes. you. Erasmo, the next one, please. Uh, Conversation uh, five. Uh, what is your sister going to, uh, to do for her birthday? Perfect. And the last one, Jacqueline. Uh, her boyfriend is going to take her out to dinner. Excellent. Correct. All right. Any questions related to this activity? All right. Awesome. Let's move forward and look at the following one. 1.12. Objective. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario para discutir cómo celebrar ocasiones especiales. Listen, please. You complete this activity. Share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Mother's Day, Father's Day, Graduation, Wedding, Wedding. Anniversary, Send Cards, Give Presents, Take Pictures, Sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat special food, wear special clothes. Now it's time to... All right, listen and repeat. Send cards. Give presents. Give presents. Take pictures. Take pictures. Sing songs. Sing songs. Sing songs. Sing songs. Se escucha como el nombre de un chinito, ¿verdad? What's your name? <laughs> Sing song. <laughs> Dance. 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 Eat cake. Eat cake. Eat cake. Eat cake. Eat cake. Have a party. Have a party. Have a picnic. Have a picnic. Have a picnic. Eat special food. Eat special food. Wear special clothes. Wear special clothes. Thank you. Colors. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Father's Day. Father's Day. Father's Day. Graduation. Graduation. Wedding. 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 Anniversary. Wedding. Anniversary. Anniversary. Okay. 
Uh, guys, uh, tenemos que tomar una captura de pantalla de los participantes. Eh, necesito que todos encendamos la cámara para esta actividad y después la puede apagar si quiere. Ok. Todos con una sonrisa. Everybody say please. Ok. <laughs> One more. All right. Ready? One more time. Everybody say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> okay. Oops. Oh, I lay some mala. Sorry. Ah. Sorry. Tenemos que repetir porque tienen que salir los nombres a este lado. Sorry. Okay. One more time. Cheese. 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 Okay, si se quiere estar comiendo las uñas en la foto, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Cheese. 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 Okay. Y la última, porque estos son varios. Una más. La última. Okay. Thank you. Eso lo vamos a hacer todos los días, guys, porque nos están pidiendo eh, foto con la persona allí, no la imagen. Uh, ya la pueden apagar si quieren. All right, let's continue. We're going to look at the next activity. So, en esta actividad me van a dar cinco oraciones put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to describe your plans for each of these special holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Puede elegir estos, Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary, pero si usted quiere escribir otros, eh, tu cumpleaños, el cumpleaños de alguien especial, eh, whatever, lo puede también incorporar. No tiene que limitarse solo a estos holidays. Puede ser cualquier holiday que a usted le guste o le parezca más. ¿Y qué es lo que va a hacer ese día? Uh, let me give a quick example. I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. Ok, él dice, voy a tomar fotos para el día de graduación de mi hija. I'm going to wear clothes for my daughter's graduation. Ok, allí voy a tomar, voy a tomar fotos para la graduación de mi hija. So, right there, you can, va a ser cinco. Any questions? Any questions? Yes. No, teacher. Ok. Antes que hagamos esto, vamos a hacer la attendance. Cuando diga su nombre, por favor, diga present. Ana Lisset Rivas. Present. Brenda Susana. Present teacher. Excellent. Cristian Mate. Cristian Mate. Teacher. Okay. Cindy Vivas. Present teacher. Claudia Alfaro. Claudia Alfaro. Present. Present. Okay. Claudia Mendoza. Present. Eh, escucho interferencia de un micrófono. Por favor, mantengan sus micrófonos en silencio. 
para no interferir en la clase. Y si usted va a decir present, quítele el silencio a su micrófono. Por lo contrario, mantengamos los micrófonos en silencio, por favor. Ok. Eh, Claudia Mendoza. Present. Present. Very good. Daris Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. Diego Grande. Present teacher. Erasmo Mendoza. Present teacher. Eric Rivas. Present. Fatima Hernandez. Present teacher. Glenda Borja. Present teacher. Jandel Goches. Present teacher. Jennifer Granados. Present. Jeremiah Rivas. Present. George Angel. George Angel. Jorge Angel. Is absent. Okay. Jose Torres. Present. Karen Sandoval. Present. Karen Sosa. Present. Karen Elena. Present. Katia Vivas. Present. Katia Sanchez. Present teacher. Manuel Sanchez. Present teacher. Monica Sanchez. Present teacher. Nady Mendez. Present teacher. Noemi Gabriel. Present teacher. Rosemary Perez. Present. Santos Martinez. Present. Sylvia Garcia. Present. Jacqueline Garcia. Present teacher. All right, awesome. Okay, let's continue. You will write five examples. For example, I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. I'm going to wear special clothes for my granddaughter's for my daughter's graduation. You're going to give me five examples here in the discussion forum. Any questions? Any questions? No. All right. Ready? You will have five minutes. You will have five minutes to work in pairs. Let's go. los en equipo. Uh -huh. Entonces veamos cómo vamos a hacer eso. Tiene que tener esta estructura. Esta va. Exacto. Ajá. Entonces, 
tendríamos que buscar eh, módulos 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Estas 5 que están acá, va. Módulos eh, de... Eh, no sería solo las... Las cinco que están ahí, sino que podría ser algo otro, eso es importante. Ok, entonces comencemos, elijamos uno de los días festivos. Um, What day? ¿Qué día? Uh, Hi everyone. In this class, we're going to Okay. Monday, okay. Thanks. Plus verb, plus object. Okay, entonces comencemos. Uh, okay. Comencemos con el día de la madre. Podríamos poner. Utilizamos todas las, digamos, terceras personas y plurales para poder armar nuestras cinco oraciones. Great special yes. occasions. Let's start okay. by listening. Con terceras personas y sería yo. En ese caso sería I'm going to take day off for celebrate Mother Day. Uh -huh. Esa podría ser una, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Eh, igual sería eh, no, oh, Dios. se fue. Sí, no sé si lo, lo mandaron a otro grupo o se salió. Ok, entonces, bueno, tenemos la primera, la primera oración, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. um, the second sentences. Algo relacionado igual con el día eh, um, Monday Days. Eh, I am I gone. I going to go to diner with my mom on Mother's Day. Correcto. It's perfect. I going to. I going to go to diner. To diner. With my mom on Mother's Day. With my mom in Mother's Day. Yes. Okay. Third sentences. Ahora utilizamos quizás mm, algo así como nuestra familia. Our family going to. Make a meal or a special meal in the modern day. Okay. Nuestra familia, nuestra familia hace una una reunión, una reunión especial para el día de la madre. Ahora, ¿qué complemento más le pondríamos? Mm, Our family make special meat for Mother's Day. Um, excuse me, for more. Sería our our family, nuestra familia. Uh, our oh. family make a special meal for Mother's Day. Oh, okay. 
uh -huh. nuestra familia hace una reunión especial para el Día de la Madre. Ok. Ahora sería algo con la mamá. Diciendo que la mamá en ese día es consentida y no hace actividades de casa, por ejemplo, cocinar. Al menos ese día no va a cocinar, sino que va a ser consentida. Entonces, y construyamos una oración en ese sentido. Entonces sería my mom in the mother days never cooking, never cooking. Sería, um, es mi mamá. que tenía desactivado el audio. <laughs> este. All right. No. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Is everybody finished or do you need more time? More time, please. More time? Okay. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Hola. Ay, lo siento, ya hablando con el cinco, silenciado, perdón. Tiene que ser cinco. Si quieres darle a la tuya y después pongo yo la mía. No, no vamos a hacer las cinco una sola vez. Ah, te voy a pasar la mía aquí por mensaje, la, la anterior. Ah, vaya. Porque, y si quieres me escribir vos la tuya. Ok, ya te describo entonces. Pero bueno, aquí está la mía anterior. Ese es uno. ¿Mm? Ah, no sé, ya la, ya la envié, pero tengo otra. Eh, voy a poner la otra mía. Pero esta no sé si está bien. Me dejan esas tres mías. Yo digo que sí está buena eso de Father's Day going to we have dinner as family. Hoy tendríamos ya las cinco.
¿cómo se llama en el aula? Ajá, solo quedaría para estarlas ahí. Y, y lo que ha escrito y el anterior el comentario anterior de quién es y dice Silvia Esperanza ah es que no no me sale el nombre a mí solo dice special education ajá es que ahí ahí uno le, es opcional eh, ahí el tema que uno le quiere poner mm. entonces yo siempre le pongo mi nombre por si me toca volver a regresar y si todos han comentado no ando buscando cuál es el mío cuál es el tuyo acaba Ah, ya. Ah, ok. Vaya, y él, también la otra compañera no le, no le ha abreviado. Ha puesto, well, we are going to. Ah. We are going to. Y, o oh, se le, where. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es cierto, ay, no sé qué. Ajá, de ahí, ahí le añade y ya le dan diar ahí la pues. Es cierto, aquí ya me dio para escribir. Sí, hay varias ya. Me pusieron ahorita, la acaban de enviar, por eso lo habíamos dos. Ajá. Si ahorita le acaba de dar refresh. Quiero ver dónde lo va Pero casi nadie le puso nombre. No, por eso casi nadie, pero yo como de esas para volver. Y, es cierto, buena, buena clave. Así yo sé que es el mío, pero. All right, let me have one volunteer, please. Un voluntario que quiera leer sus oraciones. Un voluntario que quiera leer sus oraciones. Yo, teacher, solo logré hacer dos. Ok. Entonces, están buenos. La primera. I'm going to invite my mother to a special dinner for the Mother's Day. Perfect. Another one. Uh, dos. I'm going to the supermarket for buy a gift for my father because tomorrow is the Father's Day. Excellent. Están buenas. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Perfect. Select somebody else. Select another participant. Seleccione otro participante. Eh, quiero ver Ana Lisset Rivas. Ok, Ana Lisset Rivas. Okay. <laughs> I am going to take picture for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. We are going to eat special food for Father's Day. I am going to have a party for my brother's graduation. I am going to eat cake for my sister with them. She's going to wear special clothes for her anniversary. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Select one more participant. Select one more participant. Um, Brenda. Okay, Brenda. Brenda Benítez. 
Brenda Benitez, let me hear your examples. Okay. I'm going to send, I'm going to send a card for my wedding. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take pictures in my birthday. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat special, special food in my graduation. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get present in the Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. I'm going to dance in the Independence, Independence Day. Awesome. Awesome. Very good. All right. Looks like everybody understands this topic. Um, let's go ahead and move forward. I would like for us to look at the next activity, which is going to be coming from this section, 1.14. You're going to be looking at reading for details. Reading for details. Listen, please. Are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Jolie. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Okay. Now we're going to do the practice activity. 1.16, instructions. Read the article, then answer whether the sentence presented in the article is true or false. For example, we're going to read this article. Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. So the first one is to celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull her ear 21 times. True or false? True, True. or false? True. True. Correct. True. All right. So you're going to read, van a leer los artículos y responder si las oraciones son verdaderas o si las oraciones son falsas. Ready? Ready? Falso. Let's go. Ready.
Okay. okay. Pero se tiene que dejar de hacer para que yo pueda hacerlo. Cuando hice eso, que me fue a buscar otro vínculo, se me desapareció el vínculo donde estaba para dejar de presentar. Eh, Solo... Abajo dice Share Screen, creo, en la parte de abajo. Entonces le toca ahí y deja de presentar. Solo me aparece el Word. Pero no me aparece. En, en el menos, para, o sea, para minimizar. En la esquina superior derecha, ahí. Shot. Salir de las pantallas reducidas. Optimizar. Ocultar. Pero ya no quiero compartir. Dejar a esta creo que es. Ahora sí va. Ahora, ahora, sí. ahora sí. Ya puede compartir Claudia. Ahí está, creo que me la veo. Eh, right. Sí, ya se puede ver. I uh -huh. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we we're, we're going to have a family ceremony. And probably, bueno, yo creo que no sigo leyendo. Esa es falsa. Ah. No, eso es falsa porque dice, mi mamá como que cocinará los noodles. Si no uh -huh. me equivoco, eso es como este pasta. Entonces, pero ahí dice que lo hará. Entonces, es falsa. Ajá. Ah, sí. Fools. My husband is going to be six tomorrow in Japan. Para recibir algo rojo, dice. Y ahí arriba, ¿qué dice? 50 años en Japón. De color Entonces, red sí. representa sí. a New Life. Es verdadero. Es verdadero. Uh -huh. Va a tener una cena afuera en su cumpleaños. Vemos que dice el texto. Ahí dice sí. que Esa es, falsa. es falsa porque él dice que él le envía los. Uh -huh. los uh -huh. Pero no me da. Sí, esa es falsa. La primera ya la hizo. Ahí la está, primera es. es no, ajá. Es que saben. Uh -huh. Y así era. Ahí está. Así está. Y solo, sí. sería, solo sería esa parte, ¿verdad? Porque no dio otra página. No, solo eso, ¿eh? Solo eso. Uh -huh. Ok. Ya. Ahora se termina la primera sección. Uh -huh. Sí, ahora. ¿Cuántas clases llevamos? Tres para... Sí, tres. Tres. Llevamos buen, buen ritmo. Sí, vamos a hacer rápido. La verdad. ¿Cuántas clases tiene este manual? Yo no lo he bajado aún. Eh, creo que hasta ahora se podía entregar o no. No lo recuerdo. Mm. Sí, hasta el miércoles. Ahora es miércoles, sí, pues hasta ahora. Yo no lo envié, ya lo voy a enviar. <risa> Yo sí, ni lo he impreso. Ahora. Pero sí, hasta ahora tiene. Yo por eso el mismo día que lo mando, no trato de mandarlo. Ajá. Bueno, a las 12 se termina el miércoles, así que. Hay un par de horas todavía. <ríe> todavía falta. Todavía falta. En el módulo 2 yo recuerdo que dilatamos casi una semana en esa, en esa dinámica de querer mandar ese formulario. Sí, es cierto. Ajá. Ok, un gusto, chicos. Adiós. Ah, bueno, ahí está el profesor. Back.
let me have a volunteer for number one. Number one. It's it's true, teacher. True. Number two. Cutting. False. 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 Number three. Katya. True. True. Number four. Jeremias. Number four is false. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and look at section number three. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body. Partes del cuerpo. Listen, please. Discussing different parts of the body. Let's get started by listening right. and practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Eye. Ear. Nose. Mouth. Tooth. Teeth. Chin. Back. Shoulder. Chest. Stomach. Throat. Neck. Wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, hand, finger, fingers, leg, knee, ankle, foot, feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you all right, now I want you to listen one more time and repeat. Listen one more time and repeat. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing different parts of the body. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Head. Eye. Head. Eye. Eye. Ear. Head. Eye. Ear. Nose. Nose. Mouth. 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 Tooth. 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 Teeth. Teeth. Chin. Teeth. Chin. Back. Chin. Back. Chin. Back. Shoulder. Shoulders. Chest. Shoulders. Shoulders. Chest. Chest. Stomach. Chest. 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 Stomach. Chest. Stomach. Throat. Stomach. Throat. Neck. Neck. Throat. Neck. Wrist. Neck. Wrist. Arm. Wrist. Arm. Arm. Elbow. Arm. Elbow. 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 Thumb. Hand. Hand, finger, hand. Finger. Finger. finger, fingers, leg, leg, knee, ankle, ankle. ankle. Foot. foot, toe, 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 toes. Make sure that you memorize the vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing, "This is my head." Then pointing to your arm and saying, this is my arm. Remember, the goal is to learn this vocabulary. So do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. All right. So for this activity, your homework is going to be to memorize this vocabulary. Now we are going to look at section 2.2. Two. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use have plus noun and feel plus adjective to express health problems. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán Cómo usar tengo más sustantivo y siento más adjetivo para expresar problemas de salud. Adicionalmente, practicarán una conversación, la cual ilustra cómo este es, se, se usa este tema en un escenario de la vida real. Homesick. Listen, please. 
awful. Terrible. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Sick. Awful. Terrible. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine. Great. Terrific. Fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left-hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include a noun a headache. Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun, the flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula. Subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example, I feel homesick. The subject is I. Then we need to add feel. Finally, we need to put an adjective, homesick. Or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right. All right, guys, we're going to stop right here. Please continue working on the platform. Don't stop working on the platform, and we will continue tomorrow. If you have any questions, please ask me, and I will help you. All right, good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night.